Tonight, News 5 is following through on a call for change in the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Justice System. It's a system Greater Cleveland Congregations and public defender data shows binds over more young teens charged with a serious crime to adult court than any other county in the state and is disproportionately impacting young teens of color. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis reports Greater Cleveland Congregations asks more funds be diverted to the county public defender's office to help provide more background as to whether these teens can be reformed and kept in the juvenile justice system. The crime rates have skyrocketed. None of us feel safer. Reverend Napoleon Harris with the Greater Cleveland Congregation says Cuyahoga County needs to take a careful look at how it moves those under 18 through the juvenile justice system. Reverend Harris believes too often young teens are being bound over and sent to adult court to face heavy jail time when in some cases they can be reformed in the juvenile system. Tough on crime mindset has failed us. It hasn't worked. We've been running it since Reagan and the only thing it's been is tough on people of color, tough on people of low income. The worst in the state, yes, in terms of the number of kids who are bound over every year. Greater Cleveland congregations providing county public defender data showing Cuyahoga County had 259 bind overs in five years from 2013 to 2017, but then jumping to 436 bind overs in the five years from 2018 to 2022, a 68% increase. During those same time periods, Franklin County, including Columbus, reduced its young teen bind overs by 28%. Hamilton County, including Cincinnati, down 24%. At Monday's Cuyahoga County Council meeting, Greater Cleveland Congregations was hoping council would approve moving $650,000 in funding to the county public defender's office. Public defenders, it says, gives young teen juvenile offenders a better chance at reform. And they do their homework, they do their research, they find out who this child is, where that child came from. But by a 9-2 to vote, the county council didn't believe moving the funds without a request from the public defender's office or consulting with the county's juvenile judges was the right thing to do at this time. I really question how just giving the public defender's money, office money, is going to fix the bind over rate. Meanwhile, even though the council did not approve additional funding, it unanimously agreed the bind over system needs some type of reform. We must do something different. We continue to lose more and more young boys of brown and black color to a justice system which they never return from as whole adults. And now the Cuyahoga County Council here at County Headquarters is formally calling for all agencies involved in the juvenile justice system to host a meeting within the next 90 days to come up with the first round of solutions to this issue. You know News 5 will follow through on this developing story. Reporting right here in downtown Cleveland, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. News 5 is committed to following through on stories that matter to you. If there's something you'd like to see us follow through on, email us at tips at wews.com. You can see the email address right there at the bottom of your screen.